everyone and welcome to Paper Craft Create. It's Anna here. Thank you so much for joining our giveaway hop today featuring card sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge number 12. My design team members and I will be sharing different card sketches from the challenge and I will be sharing inspiration for card sketch number 14. So to start with, I will be colouring this image, as you can see, um, with Copic markers. So I've um, stamped this gorgeous little uh, critter um, on some Expressit blending cardstock and I'm just going to colour it in. So I thought I'd show the process because sometimes it can be a little daunting. Um, by no means am I any professional um, artist, but the more you do it, the better you become. You sort of get a little idea um, for, you know, how to colour in these um, little critters. And also uh, with this particular stamp set, which I'll show you in a minute uh, on the video, um, when you have a look on the website, and that's... Um, crafting Kimmy's website uh, you will actually see the stamps shaded in so it gives you a little general idea of how to cast the shadows um, where to color it a little bit darker and lighter um, there which is a great um, resource for helping you to get started on coloring these images so with today, um, be sure to stop at each of the videos in this hop. You'll find that the next person is linked in the description box below. And there is also a full list there so you can make sure you get to all the videos and see all the inspiration our designers have to share. This is also a giveaway hop so you can win a digital, digital download from Kendra. So make sure that you watch, like and comment at each video along the way. To enter the giveaway, there is a form linked in the description box. And please watch and fill it out by November 12. Um, and then you'll be in the chance to win that digital prize. So I'm just finishing up now, colouring the remainder of this little uh, toadstool um, with my little critter. Uh, and I'll... I'll put down in the description box all of the colours used. Now this is a Crafting Kimmy stamp set that I've used, Forest Friends, and it is just adorable. And I decided to use that little critter with the um, little toadstool. Now what I have done is I've matched my papers and my embossing that I've used on this card back with a sort of toadstool, you know, foresty type of theme. So I've used the dark brown as my matting layers just to highlight and frame my base piece and um, that's just a um, I think it's actually an old cattle bug uh, embossing folder and that's also some little mushroom toadstool type things I thought it was quite cute and quite fitting for this card sketch now what I have done is I have in fact um, changed the size of my card and I am in fact using um, an Australian size card um, base so for all the Aussies out there watching you too can definitely adapt this to the different paper size so it is a half a5 which is roughly I think it's about 14.9 high by 21 I would think yes <laughs> um, but you know what that is so it is slightly uh, higher with a longer card and just ever so slightly narrower um, but this card sketch still works um, quite well and has looked really, you know, come up really great. I have, in fact, also used that same sort of very dark brown um, mat, uh, cardboard to mat all my pattern paper pieces as well. And as you can see here, I am using um, just a little bit of extra cardboard just to level up as there are layers going on top of one another and I am definitely one of those people that like to have everything sort of flush and not dipping I just think it gives your cards a nice professional look now just to make it a little bit more interesting what I have done is I've used some layering um uh, scalloped rectangle dies as well as like a stitch border die um, just to add a little bit more interest to the card rather than just cutting straight layers but they are in fact you know the sizes that suit this card here um, so you know don't forget about dies and stuff if you want to um, add a little bit of extra excitement particularly to your matte pieces um, you know just to zhuzh it up just a little um, this is just some old paper I had in my stash I just think it's it's just really gorgeous paper that I've wanted to use and I just thought when I saw this stamp set I thought this would make a gorgeous little accompaniment to it 
Um, so the card sketch is fairly similar, particularly obviously in the two patterned paper pieces. However, I've chosen to use my embellishments a little bit differently. I've used this rectangular piece. Now, I think because I'm using the longer card base, it was a little bit weird. I've got a bit more space to have that... Um, uh, my focal point is sort of quite low so what I have done is in fact just put my little um, sort of um, sentiment there at the bottom but um, in fact I will um, I've sort of made turn to taken the whole bit of the focal point and moved it up into a rectangular a sort of cornered a rounded cornered um, rectangle um, piece there um, so just uh, getting back to Kendra's card challenges so if you haven't taken part in it I would love if you would come and you know join along um, it's so much fun it's a great way to get through some pattern paper and certainly this time of year when we've got lots of cards to make particularly if you're doing you know a bunch of Christmas cards um, or any sort of holiday cards it's great to knock out quite a few so we hope you play along uh, for more chances to win prizes each month and, of course, at the end of the challenge itself, you have until the 31st of December to create your card. So you can enter one, one set per month um, or just one in total, um, but up to three entries per the challenge. Um, there is the Facebook group that you need to add your photo in and there are links in the description box of how to do that and also a link to Kendra's introductory video. So if you're completely new to Kendra's card challenges, have a look at that video. She explains everything really well, how to cut all your papers, how to download the PDF, all those sorts of things um, and then you can get creating. So I hope that you've enjoyed this, you know, having a look at this card and you'll get along to all the other designers and get a little bit of inspiration. Um, it's, it's really great to see how everyone has a different take on the cards and, um, you know, makes them their own and, you know, using different colours and different, you know, pattern pieces. Um, it's really great. So I hope you'll come along, enjoy and... Um, create some gorgeous cards. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.